Welcome to the Virtual College Exploration Event for All Missouri Students, sponsored by the Missouri Association of College Admission Counseling and StriveScan. Thank you so much for joining us. Just a few housekeeping items before we get started. You can use the Q&A button on your screen to type your questions to our presenters at any time. As a reminder, your camera and microphone are off so the panelists cannot see or hear you. You can sign up for more sessions um, as part of this event on our website, which is www.moacac.org. And as a reminder, this recording will be available on that same website uh, later this week. And now I will turn it over to our presenters. Thank you, appreciate that introduction. Well, my name is Kim and uh, we are with Centric Training. And um, basically, we just really wanted to talk with you all today about a few different things about what it would be like to go into a career in IT and some ways to train for that. Um, one of which, of course, is our company, Centric Training. So we'd like to talk to you a little bit about information regarding Centric, talk about what IT actually means and what it would be like to have a career in IT, and then go into like some different people who've gone to Centric and what they're doing now. So to start us off, um, I am going to just kind of talk a little bit about, I'm sorry, I'm on the wrong screen. <laughs> All right, sorry about that. To start us off, just gonna talk a little bit about um, Centric's history and, and kind of what we've done in the Midwest. So we've been around since 1989, just evolving our technology, um, you know, as uh, things change in the marketplace and as companies evolve and, and different things happen. So think about the differences between 1989 and now. So we've really done a lot of changing. We do look at what we do every single year to make sure that what we're teaching students is still relevant in the marketplace. We do have two locations. Um, our, one, our main campus is in Kansas City, Missouri, in South Kansas City at 92nd and State Line. And we have another campus in St. Louis, which is located in the Hill area. Both so of those do offer both of these programs. So Centric is a little bit different than um, most traditional like college and community college situations. Um, and we'll go into this a little bit more later, but the, the big thing with Centric is there's no history, there's no biology, all that we teach is technology. So you are learning technology from 8.30 to 4, Monday through Friday for about four months. It's a, it's a much different structure if any of you all have been to any of like the STEM schools or anything like that that your high school might be affiliated with. This would be similar to what you're doing half days, uh, half days there. So Centric has two major sections uh, of our company, the first of which is career track, which we're going to talk with you about tonight. Uh, and I did bring two instructors with me, so I'm pretty excited that they took time out of their evening to join us tonight. I've got James, who teaches on our full stack web developer track, and I've got Stephen, who teaches uh, in our systems and security administrator track. Um, so what we do with our career track program is we have four month training programs that are hands on. So you're not like sitting in a lecture hall with 500 people. You're not just being assigned 20 chapters to read a week and then that's it and good luck. These are actual hands on training live classrooms, whether in the classroom or right now, some of them are virtual live where you're taking them at your own location and then on some days and then some days coming to the campus. Um, we offer job placement assistance, not just for when you're finished, but also for life. So like if you have graduated Centric and you've worked at your job for a couple of years and you think you might wanna, you know, kind of branch out and try to get another job with like a promotion type thing, we can help you with that. We can help you go over your resume. We've got a very active alumni network as well. Um, we also offer career fairs only for our students and alumni. These are great because what happens with career fairs is we'll have usually 25 to 30-ish employers 
and they are there looking for centric students and alumni. So they, most of these people already know exactly what was taught in our programs and they know what to expect when you get to their company. There are people that we partner with on a regular basis. So we may have 70 to 80 students there and 25 to 30 employers. So it's a pretty good ratio. And then annually, I mentioned that we do update our, our tracks every year. Annually, we have an advisory board that meets where um, professionals from different companies come in and they tell us what is relevant now, if anything's changed, if there's things that we can really maybe delete from our program or look at deleting and then new, new emerging technologies that we could possibly add a little bit of into our program. So career track is what we'll be talking with you about tonight. But I do want to just let you know the other part of our company is quite a bit different. It's for people who are already in IT. So it really is a great process because you can come here for the four month career track and then your company can send you back to Centric to gain additional skills out of the like 300 or more classes that we offer. And right now on an annual basis, we have over 500 companies choosing to do just that every year. So I mentioned a little bit about job placement. That is really something that we pride ourselves on. After all, there's not a real point of going to school if you can't get a job fairly quickly when you're done, right? I mean, that's the whole reason that you wanna to go to school and learn skills and get a career. So I, I did mention the career fairs. We also have mock interview boot camps where our instructors and our um, other, other folks who are employed at Centric, our admissions advisors and things like that, are, are available to help interview you and give you instantaneous feedback on maybe what you can improve on and then let you know what you're doing great and to continue working on. We also help you update your LinkedIn in a manner that our partner companies are looking for so they can recognize that you're a centric grad very quickly and see which track you went through and uh, in those different skills that you learned uh, in that track. So we now have over 1,200 employers who have hired our graduates. I mean, this is like everybody from the state of Missouri, um, the state of Kansas, I'm, there's just Blue Cross Blue Shield, there's all kinds of companies, H&R Block, um, and NASA. I mean, just like everything that you can think of is on this list of 1,200 employers. And now we're gonna share just a little bit about what is IT and I'll let James kind of take it from here. Awesome. Thank you, Kim. My name is James Caldwell. I am a full stack web developer instructor at Centric um, in Kansas City mainly, but I do teach it both. Um, so I wanna talk about this question, what is IT? Um, because it, it's kind of broad sweeping, it's a, it's a pretty vague term. So in the more general sense, information technology or IT covers the entire scope of all technologies related to a business. Within the IT field, you may find really a few different segments, um, software development or web development, um, AKA coding, is utilizing coding languages to create the business's website and or their software for employees to use. Um, and then you have the systems and security administration side. Um, the, they utilize the technologies to provide networking and security for a company's technology stack. There's really a kind of a third and blended side for more experienced professionals that deal with the development and the system security admin. They are called DevOps. And that really kind of blends the side between the two. They're more experienced uh, professionals in, in one field or another and then become trained in the other side. Um, the programs that we offer at Centric really provide two different career tracks. There is the full stack web development track and then there is the systems and security administrator program, that, that track, which Stephen will talk about shortly, but I'll give you some more information before he does about the full stack web developer track. So what is a full stack web developer? Uh, that is probably the question that you're thinking. And um, what, what I would say to this is really, it's a, a person who can leverage different ling coding languages to create 
programs of many different kinds. So when it comes to full stack web development, I like to think about YouTube. A backend developer knows how to communicate with the database um, where all that data is located to allow a user to look up spe a specific video that they might want to see or a channel for from the website or app. The website or apps are also put together in a way that provides a similar experience to the user. It has the same look, the same feel across the board. And that's really what a where the front end developer might come in, where um, the front end developer is one who deals with what the user sees and experiences in the application. I think we could all agree that YouTube would be, it wouldn't be the same if we couldn't click on a video that we wanted to watch. And then we have the middle tier developer who really deals with the logic that drives the application. So as I click on a video about, let's say a video game, that video game, that, that video um, really ties to other video, videos that are related to that about the game. So the middle tier developer knows how to write logic that can power the feed that you get after you've watched a video on a certain video game, you get other videos about that similar topic. So a full stack web developer is a developer who can work with all of these three tiers and create a dynamic application or website um, where the user experiences a fun experience across all different devices um, or in the browser on, a web, on the website. So what do you experience in the full stack web developer track? What we have in our four month program um, is really unlike any other program that I've, I've seen out there. It's an eight to four, eight thirty to four experience where you are coding with other developers, um, other students who are, are getting into that field and you are spending a full day, much like you would in, in a job as a full stack web developer. Um, during that time, you code in languages such as HTML, CSS, JavaScript, C Sharp, SQL, React JS, and many other technologies that make a great web application. During your time in your four months, you put about five to seven different applications together where you will create a portfolio that will be presented to employers, potential employers, so that you can land that job when you're done. So really what we've done is we talk with employers, as Kim talked about, we talk with employers and, and see exactly what they're looking for and then craft that portfolio to match what they're looking for. So really between where your four months begin and the four months come to an end, you are learning full during a full day of work and it is pretty intense, but at the end of those four months is really where the centric experience shines between the career services and student services staff that we have along with all of our instructors and the relationships they have with employers you have great opportunities to land an entry-level job with some really good companies. Um, and I can speak for it myself as a, a former grad that the, the experience speaks for itself. The, the program speaks for itself. So what would a job look like as a full stack web developer? A lot of people really have the misconception that a developer is a, a person who goes to work and it basically doesn't talk to anyone throughout the day. And this couldn't really be, it couldn't be farther from the truth. Some of the best developers are those who know the business and what the business offers. And that takes communicating with the business professionals, as well as working on a team to leverage all of the technologies and all the knowledge on that team so that you can work together to build really cool apps and fun experiences for, for users. So as a junior level developer, you'll likely work on a team of developers that will provide you support to grow in the knowledge that you need to be successful in that role. 
Um, this is, it's really a fast paced career where growth can happen rapidly. For example, a junior level developer typically has about one to three years of experience. A mid-level developer has three to five years of experience, give or take. So do the math on that about three years in at 21, once you graduate, you would have enough experience to become a mid-level developer. And then a senior level developer typically carries about five years of, of web development experience. So this field also carries really good pay, um, great benefits, and oftentimes a lot of flexibility with your schedule. Um, there are many remote developer jobs out there, especially now, given the circumstances, and th those allow you to work from home if that's something that you're interested in. So the point being, this career field carries a lot of demand and a lot of benefits with it. Um, so this is really just one of the programs. I'm going to let Steven present on our other track, um, but I, I just thank you for your time. Thanks for, for being here with us. Thanks, James. Hey, guys. My name is Steven Russell, and I'm one of the instructors for the Systems and Security Administration track. So still modeled off of what James talked about, a four-month program, 834, instead of the application side where you kind of interact with an application such as Zoom as you're watching around or watching right now is what uh, James was talking about. And to help uh, bridge the gap as to what SSA track is or the Systems and Security Administration track is more of the nuts and bolts, the physical hardware component, and then the logical networking and how we make one device literally talk to another device over just wires. So I'm gonna start with the job rules, specifically that we try and teach uh, some of our entry-level students to get into. One of them being a help desk technician. That's what we call the frontline staff. That's what we call the uh, beginning job bases for a majority of individuals who like to go into repairing computers or repairing uh, network solutions or whatever else. They're the ones that field the calls. Then we go into something else called a data center technician. So there's an image to the right, it might be hard to see, but there are environments uh, such as data centers or server room style uh, rooms where there's just servers upon servers or network devices upon network devices in these massive aisles. And you could potentially work for companies such as Google or the Amazons or whatever else, or even smaller companies that have these and they need that support. Because whenever you go to the Amazons or the YouTubes or whatever, they have to be hosted by this infrastructure. And that's essentially what you'll help maintain. And then we go on to the third type of job role is a network analyst slash engineer. So instead of messing with the equipment itself, provisioning that equipment to make sure that our infrastructure is set and that our applications can run smoothly, this job is more focused on how devices talk from one network to another network. Imagine you're at your home and trying to talk to google.com. How does that all work? This position more or less creates uh, the ability for um, and tie in certain concepts that you may have heard before, such as IP addresses or subnets or whatever else. And this is what we call the logical side of IT, where it blends with the physical. And then the last job role that we kind of train for is something called an IT security analyst. This is becoming a very, very hot market item, especially for employee or for employer type growth for the uh, for an employee need. Uh, as an IT security analyst, you're kind of on the front lines of a network defense for a business, either that of a federal level or a small organization. Everybody needs them to meet into today's compliance, making sure that we don't have network security breaches, or in other words, there was an attack and uh, information got leaked. So with an IT security analyst position, um, you're responsible for just simply monitoring traffic and alerting anyone of anything that's going on. And obviously with these jobs, they're what we call the entry level jobs. So you can actually expand beyond that. Uh, so these are what we call the uh, footholders to create your foundation and move up. Now, in order to create that foothold for that job, we have some industry certifications that we specifically train our students to try and attain within the four months or seven months for the night track. Uh, three of them being MTA Server Fundamentals, which is a Microsoft Cater certification to say, hey, I have some knowledge on this specific server operating system. CompTIA Network Plus, which proves to your employer that you have a very good breadth of knowledge of how uh, devices communicate from one to the other. And then CompTIA Security Plus, a highly sought after certification to get into the world of IT security. And all these serv uh, serv uh, certifications, excuse me, um, demand very good pay uh, because you have to get them. Now, a lot of people don't put 
a lot of emphasis and strong value on certs, but certs do help you move forward. In fact, even after some collegiate level training or collegiate level education, you're actually still required to have some certifications behind you. So what we're doing is pushing you towards that to move ahead of the game a little bit. Now, our track structure specifically for the Systems and Security Administration track is broken up into four distinct phases. In fact, they're kind of mimicked uh, with the job roles that you see in the bulleted points. Our first part is, can you break apart a computer? Can you rebuild it? Can you understand various components of a computer, uh, taking apart a laptop, and so on? Then the second part of our track is focused purely on networking. Can you make that computer that you built or rebuilt communicate with the other computer across a hall or across a geophysical location? Then the third part of the track is how do we administer all that? It's great that we could build the computers and have them communicate, but how can we administer it? And then the last phase of our project is focused on just IT security, where you learn more of the Linux concepts and then the IT security fundamentals and how to have a good knowledge process in almost a management style versus that of a technical style. With that, I'm going to pass it off to Kim, who's going to have a little bit more information about how the track is structured versus that of college. So I mentioned a little bit earlier about us not having biology and not having um, English or anything like that. Those are what we would call general education classes, right? So that's a lot of what you've been taking in high school. And then at college, you often just take the next level of it and we call it a general education credit. So if you go to college, a four-year college, typically you'll take at least two years or 60 credits um, out of your 120 in general education classes or credits. And then the other half of it or almost half of it would actually be in what you want to major in. Um, community college is a similar story. It's around 24 months. Sometimes you can do it quicker if you do it part-time. Obviously it's gonna take quite a bit longer, but it's kind of the same thing. So you're taking usually 12 or more credits in general education classes, and then the rest of them would be in what you actually uh, wish to major in and learn about. Centric is quite a bit different in that we have none of those. Um, our classes meet 8.30 to 4, Monday through Friday for about four months. So during that four months, you focus on one subject at a time, usually per week. Sometimes, you know, it's another branch off of that for the next week, but each week builds on each other as you go through our program uh, until the end where you have um, a large project due. Actually in either track, you have a large project due. So we only teach the technology piece. One great thing about getting finished in four months is you're done with Centric about the time that many of your friends who've gone off to college are coming back for Christmas break. So you're either starting your new job or um, getting ready to start your new job when they're going back off to college. Um, so think about that added money and, and, and salary that you can make during that additional three and a half years. Instead of paying for, for actual college credits, you can actually be earning money instead. So there's just a lot of different ways to do it. Um, college is a choice for some people. If you want to live on campus and you want that college experience, Centric is definitely not going to fulfill that um, as we are just commuters. So you're going to come to us at 830 in the morning. You're going to leave every day at 430 um, and that type of thing. So it's just about what's going to be the right fit uh, for you. So the next thing we wanted to share with you all is just a little bit about the different types of students who actually have attended Centric and, and some of the things that, that they're, they're doing now. So this is Austin. Austin is actually uh, from a Missouri high school. He's from Belton High School. He graduated in 2016. He did go to community college um, the year that he graduated. Uh, and then, um, during that, he decided that that was not what he wanted to pursue and knew he didn't want to continue to the four-year uh, experience, at least right away. He actually may still go back and get this, but not at this time. So what he did was he came to Centric last year and he uh, actually graduated and right away got a job as a local area network technician for the VFW. Um, and he, after, I, I talked to him actually just this afternoon and he loves his job. 
Like he is so happy to go to work each day and just that he said it's a great atmosphere because they really help train him and, you know, kind of help, help him be better at his job and learn additional skills even there while he's working. So that's one example. He took a little detour first and then came to Cedric. And then here's an example, actually the next two people are examples of guys who came here right from high school. So Nicholas went to a Kansas high school and he came to our Kansas City campus. Um, he graduated high school in 2019 and won um, one of our high school scholarships that I'll tell you about in just a little bit. Um, he is currently employed at Cloud4j as a full stack engineer. So that would be like what James was telling you about, um, working with websites and, and databases and things like that. That's what Nicholas is doing. And so is his twin brother, Jacob. Also graduated high school 2019, won a scholarship from Centric, also working at Cloud4j. So we're very proud of these two. And we have so many students who have come to us after high school who have very similar stories. And um, we hope that you consider it because we would like to, to make you one of these people too, that we can share your example with others. Um, we've actually got two people here on the call with us who kind of mentioned that they came through Centric, but James and Stephen both were Centric grads. They did not come to us like right from college or right from high school. Um, but I would like for them to tell you about their story. Um, so you can kind of see we have all kinds of people come through Centric, people right out of high school, people re-careering, um, just all types of different people. So James, why don't you get us started and then Stephen can follow you. Sure. Yeah, I would love to. Um, I, out of, out of high school, I did the traditional route and went through um, college and got my undergraduate degree, my bachelor's degree in psychology. Um, during that time, it was a grind to try and get through school. It was, it was not as hands-on as I would, um, as I really need for my learning style. And so after um, I graduated from college. I started working as a, a children's ministry coordinator at a church, as well as a camp director um, for about 10 years. And over the course of that time, I really experienced a lot of success. People were happy with the work that I was doing. I was happy for the most part, but then I became a little bit more in, in just increasingly um, frustrated with my job and not really frustrated in a sense of angry, but more frustrated in a sense of, I felt a little bit bored with my job. I didn't feel like I had to learn new things every day to be successful in what I did. So I, you know, it, it took a while for me to realize that. And um, I came to Centric to talk to one of our, um, our, our people there. And he uh, basically just told me about the program and I was sold from that moment forward. I jumped in about a month later, I started and um, I don't regret it for a minute. Every day I, I would work very, very hard at Centric as a student, but I always had the motto that I can do anything for four months. It's it, because it's, it is such a short term uh, commitment. I was able to, dive in and I was able to learn really how I learn. And that's, that's probably the biggest thing I learned at Centric, aside from the technologies and all the languages, I really learned about myself and learned how I can teach myself new concepts. So now even the technologies that we didn't necessarily cover in the track, now I feel like I can pick up and learn on my own because I had that experience. Um, I wouldn't say that I necessarily regret going to college because I did get my degree, but I do, I do look back and think, man, and I have three boys. I think, you know, it is a, an option that I would really consider for high schoolers that is something that I wouldn't have considered before because you could get your certifications or you could get your portfolio put together and get a good paying job and maybe land with a company that can help you pay your way through school rather than owe on school and take out loans. So um, for me after Centric, I ended up, it took me about a month 
and I even took a little bit of time off. So it was really about two weeks to three weeks by the time I landed a position as a contractor with a restaurant company, a restaurant ownership group, and worked for uh, quite a while developing 12 different websites for them. Um, and then um, when Centric called for me to be an instructor, that's it, it was just kind of a, a dream come true to me that I wanted to make a difference in someone else's life and I wanted to teach technology and those two being put together um, just kind of landed me in this spot where, I, you know, I love doing what I do. Are there days where I'm tired? Sure. But it's totally different when you love what you do and wake up and you can kind of be energized by the work that you're doing. So, um, yeah, that's, that's a little bit about me and know that when I know for a lot of our instructors, especially on the development side, you know, we were connected quite well. Um, we really try and relate back to the feelings that we had as students to where as you're digging in and really working hard um, or maybe struggling through a certain concept that it goes far beyond the technical side that we're teaching you. It, it is just as much about being able to um, understand the way that you learn and understand the ways that you can motivate yourself to, to pick new concepts up and, and learn them um, effectively. So anyway, I will um, let Steven talk about his, his experience next. Appreciate it, James. So my experience was a little bit different. And but however, I do agree with James, one of the primary reasons why I went to Centric as a student was just the fast accelerated nature of the program and that it could be accomplishable in four months, which was a little bit more realistic for me instead of trying to have this very long term goal that just didn't meet my life situation. Uh, so a little bit about me. So I, came, I come from a military background. At a very young age, I joined the military, and I realized uh, I want to do something a little bit different. I want to challenge myself in different manners. So I went to the reserve component or the National Guard, and then I realized, well, I didn't really have any good transferable skills from the military. Not that I didn't get anything good. It's just nothing directly correlatable to the real world. So I went from even as low as doing something as a fry cook at McDonald's to a cashier at Walmart to a uh, warehouse uh, stalker for Cabela's, and then finally ending up at a correctional facility and working as a corrections officer because I thought maybe law enforcement would be a good route with my background. And then I realized, well, it wasn't intellectually challenging for me in the way I wanted. It was a challenging job and it requires a different set of skills. And I was actually more IT geared. I liked the video games. I liked the computers. So I was like, why not work in that field? So one of my friends who actually worked with me at the facility said, hey, Steve, why don't you think about IT then? And I'm like, I, I, I get your comment and I appreciate it, right? It makes sense. But man, I can't invest two, potentially four, which was then going to turn into six to eight to 10 years of college because at the time I was trying to go to college and it just wasn't working out because life was real for me at that point. And he's like, no, 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 just talk to Kim or talk to Russ at Centric, which you guys hopefully will be able to see and talk to you and interact with. And they told me the same thing. It's like, okay, four months, I can attain this. And I actually looked at the numbers, saw the things that they provided, talked to a few people, and it was a reality. It wasn't just an advertisement pitch. Um, and so I was like, you know what, four months, um, that's very attainable. And the fact that I can take my background and have some transferable skills to go into the IT sector, that was, that was awesome. That was fantastic. So I went through it um, and no kidding, four months, got the certifications I needed to, went into the IT security world. And based on my military and law enforcement background, I was able to go into IT security, something I really wanted to uh, get into. And within a few short months, because that's the beauty of IT and what James was talking about, as long as you try and strive and challenge yourself, what I was looking for and what James was looking for, um, I was able to promote very, very quickly within that field. Um, it became a uh, so uh, security operations team lead. Um, and the Centric reached out and said, hey, Steve, would you be willing? Kind of similar to James' story. And then you see the passion in us. I'm like, yeah, absolutely. And it has changed my friend's life. It, not only has it changed my life, but even my wife's life. Uh, so I'm very invested in this program. And one of the key things, and I want to write off what James was saying, was that you got, you tried to 
understand how you learn and you really identify that as you go through the track. And I'm a, what you call a kinetic and visual learner. I have to have the hands on. I have to visually see a process where a lecture hall is not of my benefit. So in the four months, because I was able to touch equipment or at least do a lab virtually and then visually see the process, that has ingrained uh, the knowledge that I needed and then be able to take that foundation and move on. And so that's my little bit of background experience with Centric and why, uh, you know, I'm also talking in front of you guys today along with James and Kim. But with that, I'm going to hand you guys back off to Kim. Thanks, you guys. I appreciate you sharing your stories. And um, Stephen's wife actually went through our full stack web developer track. So it's pretty cool that, you know, there's multiple family members coming through our program and, and there's so many instances of that. Um, so I, we just wanted to kind of give you guys an opportunity. If you have questions, go ahead and put them in the chat and, and Steve or James will let us know uh, if they see any that I haven't read off here. And then I just wanna let you know too about our scholarship. So we do have a scholarship available for someone graduating from um, the class of 2021. Um, I showed you last year's uh, two of our scholarship winners. We actually had five last year. Um, so we do have an opportunity to possibly award more than one again this year. I hope so. Um, but in order to fill that out, that would be a scholarship to go toward your tuition at Centric. You just need to go to centric.com slash high dash school. And what that will be is basically our high school page. You'll see me with a high school student at the top. And then you'll see some more information about events where we would typically be going. We're not going anywhere right now, obviously, which is why we're all doing these. But typically, you'll see events of where I'll be, um, and maybe that'll resume after the first of the year. So if I'm coming to your school, you can look on there and know, and then stop by our table or stop by the lunchroom, wherever we happen to be, and, and ask your questions there. Or you can contact me directly. Um, it, my information's down at the bottom of this screen. It's 913-322-7073. And my email is kbridges at centric, C-E-N-T-R-I-Q dot com. And I can help you with both Kansas City and St. Louis. So uh, either one is, is perfectly fine. We've got four month classes at each location. Um, and then when, when we talk, if you do contact me, what we'll do is talk more in depth about our enrollment process. There are some assessments that we have you take um, ahead of time and then we'll schedule a time uh, if you're a senior, we'll schedule a time for you to talk directly with Russ or Patrick, uh, Russ in Kansas City and Patrick in St. Louis, so they can kind of discuss your results. Um, we like to go about that individual result because not everyone is cut out to be a developer, quite honestly. I'm not. Um, I would definitely be more in the systems and security admin side. Um, and not everybody's cut out to do that. So, you know, it just, it, it all depends on you and, and your personality and how you make decisions uh, in life and that type of thing. So we wanna make sure we get you on the right path because that's where we're gonna see the most success. Um, so feel free to reach out to me anytime. Um, I am happy to walk you through this process or even just, you know, answer questions for you. Um, and I, I know we did have some questions come in actually right before uh, this started. I had some from some students. Uh, one of those questions was, how often do you start classes? Um, so that's a really important question because we don't start classes like a traditional school at, at the semester in January and the semester in August or September. We actually start classes every month. Um, it, St. Louis is about every other month, depending on the program, and Kansas City is generally every month. So if you think about it, if you graduate in May, you don't have to wait till the end of summer even to start. You can, but you can start in June, and you can be finished four months after that. So it, it just depends what you want to do, and we'll help you through that process. Uh, another question I had was, what is our class size? I think I mentioned it was small earlier, but I didn't put a number on it. We actually cap all of our classes right now at 15 people. Um, we'll typically have a, a couple fewer in the full stack web developer track. Usually that one's 13. And then we'll, we'll generally have 15 in the systems and security admin. So that is one reason we can get through material fairly quickly 
and have a very high success rate because we don't have big classes. We have a live instructor for you. You don't have to wait three days to get information because they're right in front of you, whether it's in the classroom or a live virtual situation like we're doing sometimes now, they're right in front of you and you can ask them questions that day and get an answer right then. Um, and we're, we're pretty proud of that because I think that makes a huge, huge difference. Um, another question that we got earlier was, uh, my dad has GI Bill uh, benefits to pass to me. Will that work at Centric? Yes, yes, that will absolutely work at Centric. And we have many students who have come through using uh, a mom or dad's um, GI Bill to pay for classes. Um, are there other questions that you all are seeing? Can't say I see on any on my end. Okay, I've got one more that we had earlier. Um, and that was a question about women in IT. Yeah, yeah, yep. Yeah. Um, we do have a lot of women in IT, actually, and Stephen's wife is one of those. Um, but we, yeah, I did not put any pictures of women up. I'm sorry. The three that I chose were all guys um, because they were um, scholarship winners or someone who went, you know, directly out of high school to us. But we do have um, probably, I, I don't know the percentage. Is it about 25%? Probably maybe 20%. That might be generous. Probably 15 or 20% women who go through Centric, and women are definitely needed in the IT industry. Kansas City in particular, we have a great situation in Kansas City for women in IT. They actually make more money than men. Um, it's a documented statistic over the last few years. So we want to see more women in IT. Um, please, please consider it. You, you do not need to be a guy to go into IT. Uh, we would love to have you. So. With that, I, I think if there's no more questions, then that is all we have. And again, my name is Kim. I'm very happy to help you. 913-322-7073. And good luck to all of you on your search and making your decisions. All right. I want to thank you all so much for presenting. I know as a high school counselor, I certainly learned a lot and took a lot of notes to share with my students. Um, so thank you so much for, for giving up your evening with us. Um, just as a reminder, as soon as this webinar concludes, there will be a quick um, four question survey that will appear. And again, you can sign up for more sessions of the Show Me My Future event at moacac.org. And as a reminder, this recording will be available at that same website. On that note, thank you again and have a great night. Thanks. Thanks thank for your you. time.